If you think women need to go to jail time for lying about R, you're just plain freaking stupid and need to die to be H. <laughs> LOL. Ah oh, yes, you know, lying about something absolutely horrible and sending somebody to prison for something they never did. Last I checked, that wasn't acceptable, but for some reason you think it's okay. Why don't you just put this on your dating profile at it? Because, you know, I, I kind of think piss me off and I will have you arrested for something you didn't do would definitely wind up being a red flag. Hell Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in our slash just like beer things because you know the new subreddit and everybody can definitely be a douchebag and that is not okay. Also if you happen to have been following me on Twitter you would happen to see the updates but if you have not I haze the upgrades. Honestly I've been meaning to do this for a while but you know just wanting to get into streaming stuff come new uh, New Year's. I finally got to do it, so yeah, the four monitor setup is finally a thing, and I very much am hyped for this and excited. I think at this point, I just need to really nail a 2D artist down who does stuff good. But without further ado, a like, comment, subscribe, and let go. Do you guys realize how problematic it is for the pastor slash priest to say, you may now kiss the bride? I mean, did the woman give you the consent to kiss her? Consent consent. The society will never let us rest, and we will keep disrupting the patriarchy. You know, um, this might be a shot in the dark, and I know assuming is bad and all, but I, I kind of feel like if people have exchanged vows holding hands and are looking at each other and exchange rings and everything... I kind of think they're okay to kiss each other. I'm going to guess that both parties in that scenario are up for that task. And consent is very important, that is a known fact, and it is one of the things that is absolute and should be absolute, yet some people don't understand that. But you kind of think people that are about to get married, uh, they would be up, up, oh, they would probably be okay kissing each other last I checked. Men shame women for having a lot of consensual ass more than they shame other men for R. No, last I checked, if one of your homies said I did this horrible thing to some person, other homies gonna be kicking his ass. No, no way in hell that people would be saying, oh yeah, good on you man for doing that. Female motorist, 31, says petrol pumps are sexist because their male designed handles hurt her small hands. Okay, some of these are just outright confusing. What in the heck is sexist about the gas pump? Last I checked, when you go, you put in your car. You pull out your card. You have to do it multiple times if you suck at it, and it just asks if you want to sign up for the membership. It don't, at any point in time, ask if you are a guy or a girl like a Pokemon professor. I find it hard being taught by male lecturers and seminar teachers because of how everything sounds like mansplaining. Okay, so, like, what? Do you want to go teach the class yourself, or are you going to let the person designated as your teacher teach you. This is the type of stupid that makes puts a little thought in the back of my head thinking, oh boy, I hope this person does not have a driver's license. This kind of has me thinking this would be the type of person to run a red light, t-bone somebody, and then wonder why they were in the intersection. If sexuality was a choice, no one would be attracted to men. Doesn't that, does that kind of take the G out of LGBT and all that stuff? Yeah, you know, riddle me this, schmuck, gay men. Doing lewd movies was not a conscious decision I woke up one day and decided would be fun. It was system conditioning to make me feel like I wasn't worthy unless a man desired me that ultimately pushed me to do it. But in reality, somebody in the comments of the post actually stated the legitimate origin story, which was this girl was a burger flipper and was told she could make money cheating on her military husband, which at the time she was doing for free. 3 out of 10 origin story, but better than the horse dookie she's created herself. I'm not attracted to fat girls. Saying I'm not attracted to fat girls is like saying I'm not attracted to black girls. Sure, you might think it's just a preference, and that you are not causing any harm by it, but in reality, you are. You're disguising your prejudiced views as preferences and deeming a whole population as unattractive. A population that is already told they are unattractive. Well, if fat is attractive, then why don't a fat woman try to date fat men? Uh, for one, preference, being fat, doesn't mean you don't have standards. Some bigger women like fat guys, others don't. Women shouldn't have to settle for anything less than what they want. 
all because of their size. Wasn't that whole preference thing what you said was prejudiced views and, uh, oh wait, are you going to activate your It's Different card now? Don't think you can rock a double standard when in reality you can't really have a good double standard of anything. If I'm gonna date somebody, I'd like for their lifestyle to be somewhat similar to mine to be able to help keep each other accountable and moving forward. Like, if we both wanted to lose weight, we both go to the gym. I'm not gonna date somebody who's just gonna stay around on the couch, do nothing, and then just wind up being, well, that. I do kind of feel like the more and more this stuff like this pops up, I start to think that a lot of people forgot about the phrase, you get what you give. Everybody's allowed to date the type of person that they have interests in, but that also doesn't negate the fact that the person also has to be interested in you. TBH, I love this astrology renaissance we are having, because all of those years of, uh, oh, it's not real, it's BS, was so much Reddit edgelord misogyny masquerading as logical, atheist enlightenment like barf. Just stop lying and admit you hate it because you associate astrology with women. Wait, wouldn't you saying that there's an association with astrology and women be you making that assumption? I think when it comes to astrology, I'm very much fine with it. I like the tarot card readings because they're just, they're cool. And, uh, but the, for the people that use astrology to judge somebody before you even talk to them, like, oh yeah, what, bore, what month were you born in? I was born in this. Yeah, we're not gonna get along. Why? The stars. If you breastfeed your sons, you are training them to be ours when they grow up. You are basically teaching them that they can touch a woman's body whenever they want. If you oppose our, stop breastfeeding boys. Sorry, what? Opinion, bathrooms should be mostly gender neutral, but cis men should get their own because they have violent tendencies and leave pee on the floor. Ah yes, just cis men can be violent. Everybody else is a frickin' Care Bear. It's all sunshine, rainbows, happiness, and loving each other, except for the cis man. Oh yeah, and also he'll piss on the floor. If you're fighting a man and he actually fights back, that's when you gotta bring an object and aim to kill. Maybe you should just not hit people in the first place? Oh, you'd be surprised how difficult that is for some dum-dums. All I did was swing at you, and when you swung back, why did you do that? I took it personally now. How stupid you gotta be to throw hands and then realize that hands can then also be thrown back at you. About me, a dog lover, cat hater, cargo shorts shredder, I am 5'7", so wipe left if you are shorter. Oh. It's gonna be good. Uh, short guys, right? So gross. <laughs> hey there, fellow dog lover. Oh, they are the worst. Are you from Miami? Nope, Wisconsin. You? Miami, lol. Visiting or something? What do you do? I'm 5'7", and it's difficult to wear heels with short guys. A mi no me gusta. How tall are you? 6'1", why do you want to wear heels? Because they are hot. Unlike short men, I guess. <laughs> LOL. Preciso. Like, why do they even exist? Seriously. I feel that way. <laughs> LOL, why can't we just sterilize them? Or better yet, turn them into dogs. At least they'd have a use then. How long are you here for? Tuesday. Nice. Then back to frozen Wisconsin? Yep, the summers are the best there. <laughs> LOL, I travel a lot, but I would try to stay away from the cold North American places because the girls tend to be fat. F you. Why? I just don't like fat people. Why can't they just lose weight? I'm probably going to block you based on this. Well, you don't like short people. Why can't I have my own opinions? Short people can't gain weight. Fat people can lose weight. Yeah, I think just in general when it comes to talking smack about people or the makeup of people, don't say anything you are not prepared to have the same energy directed towards you as. Plus, it wasn't even as bad as what you were saying to them because like, how is a genetic factor thing, that which is fixed, and once you are stopped growing, you stop growing. And that is it. Your weight changes all the time. Sorry, homosexuals, only straight men can handle this. On behalf of straight men, I would like to politely decline and ask if the bisexuals would rather stand up and take on the challenge. Look, I know some of you have seen that video, you know exactly what my dumbass was gonna do before I even said it. Professor, wing eating show Hot Ones is problematic for women. Alright, I'm interested. 
Why? A YouTube show that challenges contestants to eat increasingly spicy chicken wings has raised the ire of a Tulsa Media Studies professor. According to a professor of media studies at the University of Tulsa, the YouTube show Hot Ones is problematic because it manipulates inequitable gender hierarchies. In case you aren't familiar with Hot Ones, it's a show where the host challenges his guests to eat increasingly spicy chicken wings. Seems pretty harmless, right? An innocent chicken eating show couldn't possibly be something that's actually hurting women, could it? Well, Professor, this person thinks it could. According to her paper, The Spicy Spectacular, Food, Gender, and Celebrity on Hot Ones, published in the journal Feminist Media Studies, the show creates, maintains, and manipulates inequitable gender hierarchies through the interrelated performances of gender, food consumption, and celebrity. In other words, according to Contois, society just doesn't accept the idea of women eating spicy food. And that is the reason that only 11 women have appeared as contestants on the show so far. Women, she argues, know that they don't really stand a chance on Hot Ones because gender binaries create power hierarchies by feminizing dainty, light, and sweet flavors as food eaten in small portions with restraint. The paper goes on to claim that society conditions people to believe that real men are supposed to seek out and conquer spicy foods and that being the type of dude who loves hot sauce is part of performing conventionally masculinity through actions like disregarding risks and facing danger fearlessly. Women, on the other hand, aren't supposed to eat messy food like wings or to discuss topics such as the effects of that spicy food might have on the digestive tract because these topics are often considered taboo for women who openly discuss, let alone as part of a celebrity persona, without adopting a sort of cool girl persona, which some women might not want to do. You know, I kind of think maybe you shouldn't be watching that show because I'm fairly certain you are missing the point of it all. It's really just a talk show and the whole hot sauces and the wings and everything, it's just more of like the little niche to it all. Plus also, after all of that rant, are you legitimately saying that it's not a woman thing to have spicy food? I feel like I might have missed something. I'm just trying to think, what the frick were you thinking when you came up with this? Like, were you trying to look for something to make out of this and then for some reason you just shoehorned this into existence? Honestly, seatbelt laws are fat phobic, don't you think? Like a seatbelt squeezes all over my 361 pound body and it is very uncomfortable. I got pulled over today and got a ticket by a skinny and male police officer. It pissed me off because you know dang well those seatbelt laws were made without fat women in mind. And that brings me on to another topic, which is those uh, it can wait text stop signs on the highways. No, it freaking can't. Sit your ableist A down. As an autistic person with anxiety, when I get a text, I need to reply right then and there. It simply cannot wait. Able people have no idea. I hate this. I'm going to bed. Okay, so did you also try to justify texting and driving to the cop too, or just to Facebook? I just realized I convinced my ex to shave his head. It was not a look. And then dumped him a week later, which was also two days after his birthday. Maybe I'm not nice. Yeah, I'll tell you this right now. Convincing your significant other to cut their hair short or shave their head is not cool. I'm speaking for this for because this ain't the first time I've grown out my hair. A friendly reminder that dating is just a social construct designed by the patriarchy to keep women from fully experiencing life. Alright, what about women dating women? Why is this so common that there are a lot of posts on this ju that just completely ignore the fact that gay people exist? Having a boyfriend with anxiety is lots of fun because you can tease around with other guys and then make him apologize for calling you out. Try it and call him possessive and stuff and he'll actually believe you and even blame himself when you leave him. Yeah, I'll tell you this right now, it's going to eventually be you leaving him because his anxiety would keep him him from leaving you. To anybody that has friends who are going in through a relationship like this, if you happen to see from a distance that they're doing this or they are having this done to them by their significant other, freaking tell them, please. Emotional manipulation is not cool at all. When 
I say I hate men, I'm not talking about every individual man in the world, I'm talking about men as a social class. But if you're the kind of man that gets offended when I say I hate men, then I do. Specifically, hate you on an individual level. So let me see if I got this straight, because you don't specify, and somebody gets upset, you're now saying that it is geared towards them. People like you are the reason I don't like the Twitter trending tab, because I know for a fact a couple of times I've seen kill all men, but definitely ain't seen the other one. I hate men who propose to women. Stop trying to enslave women in marriage. It's 2020. Let's leave this men proposing stuff in 2019. You just peanut butter and jelly that nobody ever asked you. And as much as I do see guys proposing to women, it would be nice for things to kind of change a little bit and then have everybody feel like they're supposed to do it. Like, if you like the person, you want to ask to marry them, and it doesn't matter who is who. You don't have to say, oh yeah, I want to marry this person. Oh wait, no, I gotta wait for them to ask me because I'm a woman. People should ask people to marry other people regardless of who they are. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Also, social media links will be in the description box down below. But with that, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.